about this place is all the animals. I love learning about the animals. I love, I love listening to the animals. I love exploring the whole world. Is that what's called? And we're about to go and look for some elk on some horses. Okay, all aboard! The elk oh, reserve shuttle bus. The elk is coming Let's go! Come on, guys! Wow! Look at this cowboy! A real cowboy! Hi, guys! So now we're gonna go to, uh, to see all the like reindeer, maybe a bear. That's lucky if we find one. <clears throat> So wolves, lots of exotic animals. Maybe we'll find a fox or like a wolf, so stay tuned. National Elk Refuge. Uh, I'm excited to take you out on a ride today. Now this is Rick and Rocky up here. These are Belgian horses. Uh, they're the ones that's really going to do all the work today. I have a question. Is this heavy for them? No? Wow. Like how fast could they really go? Probably speed, exceed the speed limit for a team of <laughs> Okay. So we can go pretty fast. But we won't go very fast. What are chaps for? For me, and for right now, if they help us keep warm, but they're also for the show. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody allowed to build on this? To build on this? Yeah. Not anymore, no. Are some of these animals dead? Yeah. Look, guys. Bulls actually separate, they like to form a bachelor group. And that's why they're leaving Mommy. the main group. And that's typical of what happens Mommy. every day. Yeah. What's the most common animal in this whole place? Well, in this place are the elk. elk. Guys, 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 the, the bald eagle's eating the remains. He's eating the remains. Guys, this is so cool. Look at it. <laughs> the hunters, they have to wear a big bright orange vest um, and then you hand them a bow and arrow and then you send them walking. Do they ever like go up like the mountain? Absolutely. Wait, but is it easier to walk with the feet to go up the mountain? They can have bursts of speed up to 40 miles an hour. Do so their noses get very cold when they're trying to get the grass? They can actually stay uh, totally warm even when it gets really, really cold. Because um, the elk actually have two layers of hair. Uh, they got a really short, really thick, down type layer. Then they have the longer outer hollow hair. It insulates them, it keeps all their body heat in close to their body. They have a reduced blood flow in their legs, so they don't feel the cold in their legs like you and I do. So when it gets really, really cold out here, the elk are totally fine. Where does the bear like hibernate right now? Where? In all the, all, all the big high mountains. Like over there? Not on this one, but on the big high ones up here. Guys, um, comment down below if you like this, and to, I invite you to come uh, with me next time we go. I wonder some of them fight. 
There's always one who wants to be the boss. Hey guys, um, it's me, Marcus. Right now we're gonna do a quick video. We're right now in like a museum. So they found this. It's like a badger skin. It's very cool. This is a mountain lion's footprint. Um, this is a grizzly bear's skeleton. Um, that's I think a bear's skeleton. Elks. They're called elks. The male does have antlers. But they lose them every but year. But they lose them every year. So like, this, this one's a male. A male's a boy. Look, look at that. This is from a male. This is a male. That's a girl. That's a girl. This is every single mountain in Wyoming. And this little space right here, that's where we just went. Yep. All of this is where we just went. That means all in, all eyes on cheddar. <laughs>